creating an offset. If I want to offset a wall a certain distance, I can use the offset tool. So I'm going to go up to my modify tab. I'm going to go over to offset. Notice I get this option bar here. I got two methods. I can graphically pick it on the screen or I can key in a value with a numerical value. I'm going to put in a value of 4. And also note the check copies on by default. So I'm going to make a copy of the element. Now it's a select the wall or line offset. I'm going to select this wall here. And uh, so you notice I'm pick I'm hovering and it creates a green dotted line at 4 feet. So I want to pick on the bottom side so it goes outwards. And I just created a, f a wall four feet away. All right. Um, I'll do that. Now I'll come up here and say, oh, I wanted one six feet. All right. I'll come down here and hover. Notice it's up in the middle. I hover down. Nope. No, I'm going to do this. I'll hover down to the bottom side. Let's escape. I'll do that one more time. I got six feet. I'll come in here and I'll hover on the bottom side and I pick and now I got a wall six feet. Um, likewise, I can come up to my offset tool and I can say hey I don't want a copy and I'll go six feet and I come over to this wall here and I hover over it till I get that green dotted line and I pick and it extends the wall out and joins it. Notice it took the wall out because I did not have copy on it. All right. Now, let me do it one more way here. If I go up to offset and I go to graphical and I'll say copy, I'll come down here and it'll say select a wall or a line. I'll pick on this wall and then it says alright um, click to enter offset start point so where do I want to start it from I'll say right here and now I can drag it down a certain amount of distance like four feet and now I got a copy of it four feet away so we have a couple of different uh, issues. One, we can do it graphically or numerical, or we can go with a copy or not a copy.